I'm going to talk about how we can recycle nuclear waste and here's my idea so first uh, nuclear waste does produce uh, it does produce a heat energy and radioact uh, and a gamma ray so we can use those heat and, and use a heat ex exchanger and use a turbine now but if we use a regular turbine it's too very which is a very big one it won't spin because this the nuclear waste obviously the heat is very low I mean it's much it's still hot we're talking about like 400 degrees but it's, it's not hot as the when it uh, the, the the first one the begin from the beginning so we have we use a smaller turbine smaller smaller turbine and it, it will probably spin and it runs the generator we we're talking we, we can use this for like another for 10 years maybe because it's a smaller turbine obviously you need a a lot a lot smaller steam and there's another way to recycle nuclear waste this is a little complex but I'll explain to you okay so they put this in a water because it produces a radio uh, a radio wave uh, gamma ray harmful gamma ray and the heat they circle uh, they circle around the water so it can uh, reduce the heat this shows how we can use uh, gamma ray into electrical energy so I'm gonna show you how this works sorry this is Korean so never mind I'll explain it to you so this is a nuclear waste and it produces a gamma ray once the gamma ray hits the water it converts into something another structure it calls negative ions so the water turns into a negative ions if you look up internet uh, gamma ray when it hits air or water, it, com it it changed the structure of the water. It converted into negative ions. So, so why did, why is it this important? Well, the negative ions can be used in a battery. If you look at the battery principle on uh, lithium battery, alkaline, acid battery, what kind of all those batteries are have the same principle you need negative ions and positive ions and here's the separator so when the ions emit they give off electrons okay this is the chemical reactions of the battery so the gamma ray the gamma ray uh, convert water into negative ions okay so that's good now all we all need is the positive ions. Well, the positive ions are normally come from carbon dioxide, CO2 gas. So if we put carbon dioxide, CO2 gas into water, the water turns into positive ions. So we have negative ions and positive ions. What? Well, that it create. If you put it in uh, in a battery and it, do it the chemical do the chemical reaction and it turn into a uh, uh, electricity we're talking about like hundred years because this radio wave produce a gamma ray for for a hundred years and that's pretty cool I mean you can you can use a battery for that long and we, and this is uh, we spin the water because yeah you probably get the idea we spin the water yeah okay you probably uh, okay this is my idea thanks for watching the video